Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. At this very moment, everything you are doing is being recorded. You are being watched by computer programs and cameras that are monitoring you everywhere you go in ways the wildest conspiracy theorists wouldn't have believed 10 years ago. It's worse than you think. You're probably already aware that everything you do online is tracked, recorded, and sold to make better targeted ads. But it goes way further than that. Companies in the business of selling your secrets are doing things that go way beyond 1984. You're being monitored in ways Orwell never even imagined. Number 7. Hospitals and Pharmacies Facebook recently sent their people to several hospitals to try to convince them to sell their patients confidential data. They wanted everything, including records of your illnesses and prescription histories, all for what they claimed would be a research project. Officially, the information was going to be anonymous because legally, the hospital wouldn't be able to give away your medical history with your name on it. The hospitals, by the way, were fully aware that Facebook wasn't planning on keeping the data anonymous. In fact, the social media giant had promised to get back to them and give them the names of patients who, based on their Facebook history, might need special treatments. The plan was scrapped when Facebook got in trouble for the Cambridge Analytica data leak. But Facebook isn't the only company buying your medical records. There are entire companies that do nothing but buy medical records and resell them. Rite Aid and CVS have both admitted to selling patient data to these businesses, and General Electric and IBM have admitted to buying it. There's a lot of money in it, too. The biggest company involved in trading medical information is called IMS Health, and they made $2.6 billion in 2014. Number 6. Apple Checks Your Bank Account Apple filed a patent in 2015 for a brand new program that would constantly run on your iPhone. Its whole purpose was to watch you while you check your bank account and your credit cards, find out how much money you have, and sell your bank balance to advertisers. They didn't even try to hide what they were doing. The patent specifically says, and this is a direct quote, Goods and services are marketed to particular target groups of users based on the amount of prepaid credit available to each user. Or in other words, they'll look at how much you owe on your credit card and share the information with any advertiser willing to pay. Officially, Apple pretended that they have no plans of actually using it. Their CEO, Tim Cook, has made great big speeches saying that spying on users for monetary gain is wrong and not the kind of company that Apple wants to be. But it's a little hard to believe that Apple planned, designed, and patented a program just to not use it. Apple definitely has the ability to check your bank account, and it's only reasonable to assume that they're using it. Number 5. Retail Stores Track Your Movements When a company offers you free Wi-Fi, odds are they're not just doing it out of the goodness of their hearts. They're doing it so they can track everything you do in their store. When you connect to the Wi-Fi, the store gets to track where you go and what you look up. They track what you look at on your phone, where you went, and what you bought. And yes, they know if you try their stuff out, order it on Amazon, and go home without spending any money. Macy's, BMW, Topshop, Morrison's, and countless shopping malls have all acknowledged that they track their customers through their smartphones, and there's no telling how many just don't admit it. Number 4. Facebook tracks your phone calls. When news of the Cambridge Analytica scandal broke, Facebook got in trouble in March 2018 for recording every phone call users made on their Android devices. Facebook had full details on whom they'd called, how long they spoke to them, and every text that they'd sent. Facebook insisted that they weren't actually listening in on the calls, but other companies definitely do it. One company called Pudding Media even made it their entire business model. Pudding Media ended up going out of business, probably because they were too honest about what they were doing. But although Facebook and Google deny listening to our phone calls, a lot of people are pretty sure that the targeted ads they've seen suggest that they're lying. Number 3. Advertisers Watching You Through Webcam Some astute people noticed something in a picture posted by Mark Zuckerberg black tape over his laptop's webcam. It's more than a little disturbing. 
More than a few people have described seeing ads on Facebook that seem to be working off of what they're wearing or what's behind them. Facebook has never admitted to watching us through our cameras, but the fact that Zuckerberg feels the need to cover his up suggests that he knows something we don't. Other companies are definitely doing it, by the way. A company called Emotional Analytics has developed software that uses the computer's webcam to watch and analyze people's facial reaction to advertisements. Android recently felt the need to update its privacy policy to ban apps from using cell phone cameras to secretly record people's faces. Number 2. Hundreds of apps listen to everything there are literally hundreds of different apps that come loaded with secret, hidden software that uses your microphone to record everything happening around you. Most use a program made by a company called Alfonso. It's programmed to constantly run your microphone, even when the app is closed, to listen for television shows or ads and see how they affect your behavior. It might record, for example, your hearing of an ad for pizza on TV and then see if you go out and buy that pizza. Technically, the program is legal because it requests permission to record you. But usually, that request is buried somewhere deep inside a thick privacy policy so that you'll agree to it without ever actually seeing it. McDonald's and Krispy Kreme have both used these types of programs, and there's a good chance every Google Home is doing it all of the time. Number 1. Facebook gathers data on people who don't use Facebook. Even if you don't use Facebook, they're still monitoring everything you do. On nearly every website you see, there's a sneaky little button that's watching you, the like button. Facebook has added code to the like and share buttons that show up on almost every article online that lets it secretly record your actions. You don't have to click on the buttons for them to watch what you're doing. If you're on a website that invites you to share their post on Facebook, the company is watching what you're doing. They're watching your comments, they're watching where you go next, and they're selling everything they learn. So it doesn't matter if you opt out, it doesn't change anything if you boycott Facebook, they're still watching everything you do. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.